Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Recent Things. I gather my inspiration from my surroundings. So whether I'm in Michael's or Dollar Tree, Dollarama, or any of the crafting stores, I just get inspiration from everything around me, including the weather outside. Now lately, the sun has been shining. Summer is just starting. It is gorgeous outside. The birds are chirping. The flowers are blooming. So really, it's bright, it's colorful, I'm in love with it. And today I decided, let's go with all that color and all that bright summer fun time stuff and do three Dollar Tree door decor DIYs. Why don't I just get started and I'll show you what I made. For the first DIY, we're going to start with this fun in the sun wooden sign along with all of these flip flops. There is a total of five and I'm just going to be using my regular crafting utensils for this project. The first thing I'm going to do is just take off all the tags and hangers and then with the flip flops, I'm just going to kind of rearrange them on my table into a pattern that I want. So I have five pairs, so I'm doing five pairs at the bottom and five pairs layering on top. You can kind of see here, I'm just kind of fooling around with it, seeing how I want the placement to go. Once I'm happy with that placement, I'm just gonna take that top layer off, gonna grab that hot glue gun, and I'm gonna start gluing all of those pairs of flip flops together. So right here with the first layer, I'm just kind of gluing them a little bit on the sides. Now, I know you're gonna think to yourself, this is not gonna hold up, and I'll show you a little bit more later on, so stick with me. <laughs> I do have, there's a method for my madness, let's put it that way. And then once the first layer is done, I'm gonna come in and I am going to place another flip-flop right in between those spaces just to kind of fill it all up. And you can see I'm kind of holding everything down at the same time, just making sure that glue really adheres, and I'm just gonna hold it in place until it all dries. And once it's all dry, we can see the pattern, and I love all of the colors here. What I decided to do was take a spare piece of foam board. I'm gonna create or draw out a little circle, cut it out using my scissors, then after that, I'm gonna hot glue that onto a piece of felt. I'm gonna trim the felt a little bit, create little tabs all the way around that circle, and then I'm gonna grab that glue gun, glue that circle with the felt on top and those tabs all the way around until it's all done and dry. Now I'm going to bring back that flip flop and here is the base of our wreath kind of holding everything together and I'm going to do that with a whole bunch of hot glue, hold it in place. Once it's dry we have our flip flop wreath already for that beautiful sign. Look at all those colors. I am loving the colors. <laughs> So here is that sign. This is just from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take off the hanger. I'm not gonna use it for this project and take out those staples, position that sign right in the middle, and then, of course, grab that handy dandy glue gun, throw some more glue down on there, and then press that sign right in the center. And once that's all dry, I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna remember where my top is, take two pipe cleaners and twist them together to create our door hanger. And here I'm gonna cut out two pieces of felt just to cover up that glue area so it looks a little bit nicer at the back. Hold those down until it dries and now we have a way to hang that door hanger. And look at this, our fun in the sign flip flop door decor or door hanger is all ready for my front door. Again, look at these colors, look at these different patterns. I mean, it just screams summer, it screams bright. I love this and I hope you do as well. Here it is hanging on my door in my studio. Again, all those bright colors, the flip flops and a really quick and easy day decor idea. For the second one, I'm actually going to be using one of these tote bags, some flip flops again, this decorative scarf, and I found this beautiful sign, I love it, these little pinwheels, and of course these pansies, some sunglasses, and of course I'm going to be using cardboard, but if you want to use foam core, that is a great substitute along with my regular crafting utensils to create this project. 
I'm first going to start off laying my cardboard down and my tote bag and then I'm going to outline the outside of that tote bag. And then I'm just going to cut around using my scissors following the line and making sure that that fits right inside the way I want to. It fits perfectly so I'm good with that and then I'm going to move on and trace that and use it as a template on a second piece of cardboard. Do the exact same thing, cut that out, and then I'm going to glue those two pieces of cardboard together. I'm going to make sure it still fits right in that tote bag. I'm going to throw that in there and it fits perfectly. And now we have a little backing and a little support for our tote bag. It's perfect. And then on the back side, I'm going to add the hot glue and close that. Now the back side is the one without the pocket. So there's no pocket. If I flip it over, the pocket is in the front. And I'm going to keep that front open and the back side is glued closed right now. And then what I'm going to do right at the bottom is I'm just going to glue together those flappy pieces, if you will. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I just wanted to get everything nice and secured down. And now I'm just going to take those flip-flops and I'm just going to kind of play around with the placement of them. Once I got the placement that I want, I'm just going to add some hot glue at the back. And I'm going to put those in there, holding them down. And then, of course, the second piece, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Take a little hot glue, hold that down as well, and keep it in place there for a little bit. Now it's time for our little scarf, and I'm just going to hang that off of the handle. I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times and loop it. No need to hot glue this down. It's going to stay the way it is. And our sunglasses are going to come into play now and add a little more color and decor onto our little beach bag because we are turning this to a beach bag after all we're going to add those sunglasses and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in and i'm going to glue together the top of our tote bag so it does not open up so i'm done putting anything inside i glued it and then i'm going to take the tops off of my florals cut down that sign that I have because I just want the truck with the gnome in it and it says hello. And then I'm going to bring that pinwheel in, throw it right in that pocket and place everything just a little bit before I glue it down. And now I'm going to start gluing down that pinwheel and then I'm going to glue down that sign. Is that the correct term, pinwheel, for that little spinny thing? I can't remember. I was trying to think of it just now. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Is that the correct name of that little spinny thing, a pinwheel? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the little nubs for our florals. These are pansies and that just lets them lay a little bit flatter. I'm going to group them into sections of three, glue them down, glue those leaves down as well. Just adding our final touches to our beach themed tote bag and look at this. We are all ready for the beach with our sunglasses, flip flops, scarf, our little pinwheel or spinny thing. And of course, we're going to join the little gnome in that little farm truck and head off to the beach. <laughs> but here is our beach theme door decor. It's our little beach tote bag all ready to go to the beach enjoy the sun throw those sunglasses on maybe have a couple margaritas or pina coladas too <laughs> and again here is our little beach bag hanging on my studio door i love the colors again of this that really does scream summer beach day why don't we just go hit the beach now <laughs> And our final DIY, we are going to use the 14 inch wire wreath frame along with this lay, some two and a half inch wired ribbon. I'm choosing green, but they do have pink at the Dollar Tree as well if you want to use that. Some colorful floral headbands, these coasters that I found that I thought were really cute. I love the colors of these and I love those leaves. Along with this welcome sign, kind of shaped like a surfboard, some flip flops. And of course, I'm going to be using my regular crafting utensils to complete this project. To start off, all I'm going to do is take that wired ribbon, put a little glue right at the top, curl it around one of the inside wires of our wreath frame, and then let that dry for a second. And then I'm just going to wrap that around till my heart's content. Once I come to the end of the roll, I'm going to glue it down glue on the next roll and continue filling that wrap all the way around that wire wreath frame and we have our base all ready to decorate. 
For this, I'm taking my lay and I've cut it down and I've glued the ends so it doesn't come apart. So I just added a little hot glue right at the end. And now I'm gonna do is just kind of do a dry run at where I want to place it. I want it just to kind of fill up a certain section. I'm not gonna fill the whole thing with it. And then once I'm happy with where I'm going to place that lay, I'm gonna just lay it down ever so gently onto the hot glue. Now, a little word of caution, I'm not pushing the lay down. I'm just actually laying it right on top ever so slightly onto that hot glue. I wanted it to still be fluffy. I want, if I push it down, I'm gonna flatten it. So here I am just fluffing it up a little bit. So I'm just really delicately laying it onto that hot glue. Next comes our flip flops and these are pink polka dots. You I don't know if you can see the glitter, but I thought that was really kind of cool. Adds a little dimension and fun into our wreath. I'm gonna glue both of those down and then hold them in place once they are all dry and those flip flops just stand out against that blue lay. And here is our sign. I'm just gonna take off that twine as well. And then I'm gonna add a whole bunch of hot glue to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere place that onto my wreath, hold it down for a little bit, and then it comes time for our little florals from our headband. And all I did was I just cut those off, and then I'm going to use the blue, yellow, and green florals. I'm gonna open up those coasters, and I love these coasters. They were kind of like a really thick felt, and I was so happy with them. I'm gonna use the leave coasters, and I'm just gonna glue those in every now and then. I'm gonna combine the dark and the light ones just to add a little bit of interest. And now I'm just gonna do a little, what I call dry run. I'm not glue anything just yet. I'm just actually placing all of my items down, kind of seeing where I want everything to go. I love doing this. It's a great piece of advice for anybody doing wreaths. Just kind of place it first, and then what you can do is once you've placed everything, just start gluing everything down like I am here. And once it's all glued down, we have our tropical welcome sign all done. I just love how this wreath turned out. I wasn't really sure how it was gonna turn out, <laughs> but I'm really happy with the end results and I hope you are too. It's hanging on my door and it just screams tropical and I am in love with this wreath and all of those colors and I hope you do too. Here is our first DIY, our fun in the sun flip flop wreath. Our second DIY is our beach tote bag with our little friend the gnome and of course more flip flops. And here we go, our final wreath with flip flops. It seems like flip flops were a theme for today's video. <laughs> Here are some bloopers for you to enjoy. My mind kind of went blank. Have you ever had those days? Today is one of them. Yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, geez, that didn't. <laughs> Hello. We get four seasons year round here, obviously. Where am I going with this? I don't know. <laughs> ramble, ramble, ramble. Summer, we are smack dab in the middle of it, or basically, really, just in the beginning of it. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. And I don't have my coffee here. I left it upstairs in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, Dave. It's blue skies, sunny skies. Oh, David. DIY. No, I don't even know what I'm doing today. <laughs> test, test, test. One, two, three. Test, test, test. Thank you so much for joining me today while I created these three summer deer decor DIYs. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new project. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.